Welcome to Imperfect in an Uncertain World, resources for living with authenticity and purpose. How do you navigate the choppy waters of uncertainty? And what can you do when you realize that you have no control over the rapidly changing external circumstances? Add to that being an empath. Well, here are my thoughts from the front line. We live in interesting, unsettled, uncertain times. And I am an empath who works in an essential business, which means I'm really on the front line of seeing the day-to-day -day of the chaos that is happening. So each day there are new policies and procedures enacted to keep both customers and workers safe. We're protected from the tangible while the intangible, the emotions continue to bombard us. And lately, the battering of these emotions has intensified, leaving me and others overwhelmed most days. One of the things that I've noticed is that almost everywhere I turn, I see a lot of hope and compassion heaped upon an unstable, an unstable foundation of fear. Um, and by that, I mean that some seem to be intellectualizing the current situation in ways that gloss over the suffering of others while focusing on the anticipated good that's going to happen somewhere, sometime in the future. And by that, I would say, um, I've seen people quote, biblical, make biblical references. I've seen people that um, I would consider more new agey. Um, out there talking about the good that's going to come of this and, and the wonderful things. And so what I'm saying is, is I see a whole lot of suffering right now. And so while there might be good that's happening, how are we alleviating suffering? How are we being bodhisattvas in this moment? Um, I've also read my share of fear-driven posts from people who are finding it difficult to really navigate the choppy waters of change. And those are the people I'm concerned about. So is there a way to bridge the intellectual with the people that are on the front line really experiencing? And so I wonder where is this middle point? Where is this place where we live in the real while addressing the issues of community? And in doing that, we build and share a collective of hope. I like to believe that we can find that place. But where is it? Let's begin by saying, you know, um, when I had Reiki training, we taught that Westerners tend to get stuck in their heads. We taught Reiki in a certain way because we began with the head and moved into the heart. And so we're a people that tend to get stuck in our heads. We make sense of the most incomprehensible things because it makes us feel safe. If we can analyze it, draw a conclusion, find a solution, then everything's okay, right? Maybe, maybe not. I believe that this approach fails to take into account the uncertainty of the world and the fact that we're not islands, we're not silos, we're not independent, we are interdependent beings. And our being okay as an individual or even as segments of the population doesn't mean that for others, the world stops its descent into chaos. Unless we take into account that we are community, a broad community, then any solution will not encompass everyone. Now, more than ever, we need to act from a stance of in this together, and that's hashtag in this together. It's a reminder that no man's an island, no segment is an island. We are all impacted by one another. And we must act on this knowing that our act actions, simple and complex, impact, impact the actions of others. So now you may be saying, Van, what can I do? I've learned that life is to be experienced through our entire being. So that means that we are body, mind, spirit, and heart. We experience this life physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And living this way, we gain awareness 
we see the nuances of this rich information that presents itself in each moment, as long as we're not acting from one aspect. Being stuck in our head might offer a certain consolation, but it cuts us off not only from community, but from the other three aspects of ourself. Now, absorbing any information with the four aspects of our being helps us to gain a clear understanding of circumstances and how they impact not only us, but also others. We use components of our understanding to nourish the plot of our land. And so what I want to say is to nourish the plot of our garden, we use the good stuff and the compost. But we also recognize that our garden plot is not an island garden. It is part of a greater community garden. And realize that anything that happens in our plot impacts others. So what are the little and the big ways that we impact others? To answer that question, we need to stop living in our heads and get in touch with how Others are being impacted by the uncertainty. The small gestures that have big impacts say thank you, offer a compliment, listen intently. And then as your sphere of influence widens, so does your ability to impact others and the world. You might share resources in a blog, facilitate community discussions, connect with others to change policy at a local, state, or national level. Give as you are able to give from each aspect of your being, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And as you give, what you're going to recognize is, as you are able begins to push out and you are able to give more and more and probably become pretty creative about it. So now is not the time to be stuck in our heads and tech intellectualizing ourselves into the illusion of hope. Now is the time to open ourselves to understanding and that understanding is how we are impacted and how others are changed by this unfolding. Now is the time to act in ways that spark personal and communal revolutions. And these revolutions are fed by an awareness that we are in this together and will only survive if we have all the tools necessary to cultivate our plot and help others cultivate theirs in the community garden. So I hope these thoughts from the front line are beneficial to you. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Um, let me know what you think. Maybe if there's something that you're not quite sure about or that you disagree with, you know, shoot me a, an email. Let me know how you feel. Uh, more resources are available at intentandaction.com. That's I-N-T-E-N-T-A-N-D. ACTION.com. If you need a little bit of help, I'm available for coaching, be that one intuitive conversation or several. Give me a shout and we can schedule that. But most importantly, get in touch with how you're on the front line and how that is impacting you, body, mind, spirit, and heart. Thank you.